Oh look, bananas. No, no. Batteries. Four 12 volt batteries. Good job, Bells. I'm gonna run you over with this car. Move it, move it! Which way? Oh, can you move that metal? <laughs> I can't put the battery here because this is where the motor is. I didn't even look on this side before. All right. Where's the second battery go? Stupid thing is I already made the piece for it. Oh, I feel so retarded. Um, you know, if these batteries were half a centimeter shorter, <laughs> they would have fit right in here. <sighs> right under the floor. Which is why I had to build this extra little piece that's actually lower than what was in there. But since I can't put one on the other side, um, let me think. Alright, two kids still sit there. Wait, wait, I don't want you way over to the side. Sit up against the battery as much as you can. Well, I guess that's not bad. For me, it's not going to matter, because if I sit in there, I have to sit way back between the two wheels anyway, so I'm right in the middle. As long as two kids can still fit. Yeah, maybe that's alright. 
And I didn't want to put the battery here and over there because then it took up too much space. But yeah, with one down there, one at the bottom, then one over there. Ah, I think it's fine. It's just a silly car we're driving around <laughs> around here anyway. Isn't that steering awesome? I love that steering. Well, let's get a look at it moving. Turn all the way one way. Keep going, keep going. All the way one way. Now go all the way the other way. Oh, it's so good. Okay, go all the way the other way. Nice steering. You even have a smile while you're doing it. Is that fun steering? That's a funny steering. Steer you can steer. Go ahead. Yeah, that's going to be terrifying when she can drive this thing. You know, you have to make sure you don't drive off the island into the ocean, right? And why is part of your face blue? Green. Eh, maybe I'll put it down there. I also didn't want to put two batteries down here because it blocks people from getting in. But, oh, yep, here we go. She just tried to get in the other way and was like, there's a battery in the way. But yeah, little kids can get in this way. Big kids can just step over the battery, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's put it down there. I think that's, no, don't touch it. That's a better spot. And we still have space for foot pedals. And if your butt comes over here a little more, that's fine. I just put an extra piece of reinforcement on the differential back here. This is a weird differential that I made out of weirdness. Anyway, I think it's all good. And then I realized, oh, I also put batteries in. There's one here and one down over there. Right. And then I realized, hey, if I stick these wires to those batteries, I should be good to go. Obviously, I don't want it to, you know, permanently be like that. But uh, just for a quick test, I have no speeds. It's just full speed and stop if I'm just attaching the wires. And, uh, yeah, I'll put some speeds in and some switches and stuff. But I just want to... I, I just want to play with it, all right? All right. I really should have some kind of uh, something between full stop and full speed, but I don't know, it's just the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Man, I bet this thing is pretty strong. You're just bored. Oh no, I need reverse to get around the corner. Oh, I don't have reverse. Hold on, hold on. I need a slightly wider track here. Or I need to put the switch in for reverse. Oh man, this is so fun though. Oh, I can't wait to, oh, I, gotta get, I gotta get the reverse switch in here. And then get my kids butts in here. Oh, they're gonna love it. <laughs> get out of the way. Get away. Okay, if I get the forward and reverse switch in there, and maybe, geez, I could just make it a switch that has two speeds forward, two speeds reverse, and use some, oh, I used all my nichrome wire. I used a bunch of nichrome wire, well not a bunch, a piece of nichrome wire for the speed control on one of my boats, and I love it. Oh, it's amazing. It does waste a bit of electricity when on the slower speeds, but oh, it's so reliable. Like, it, it just, oh, it works so well. Meanwhile, any of the electronic speed controls I have, you know, they work most of the time. I have had one burn out on me before. That sucked. Luckily, I wasn't far from home. And then, you know, every once in a while, they get a little glitchy and I'll have to get in there and check for loose connections and stuff. But man, this... Well, we're walking down here now. Might as well take a look at it. Um, yeah, this just resistive coil of wire, high resistance wire. It's amazing speed control. Totally worth the little bit of energy it wastes. So that speed control is on this boat. Oh, let's go around. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, palm tree. Yeah, this is 
this is the main guts of the speed control. And there's a switch over there that tells the electricity to go through one part of it or through the whole thing or to totally bypass it full speed. So full speed is actually super efficient. But anyway, yeah, I need another piece of that wire to do the speed control in the kid car. That would be great. Oh, look at this. What are, you, what are you doing? Go away. All right. Oh, that like clickety clack sound in the car. The That's just the, the chain, the drive chain. It uh, like rubs on this little piece of metal. And I could cut the little piece of metal out of the way. Although I kind of like that it makes a bunch of noise so that everyone knows when someone's driving the car because kids are going to be driving this car. So I want it to be noisy so everyone is aware that it's, it's moving so no one gets, you know, snuck up on and run over. Uh, anyway, okay, I need to get, yeah, I need to get a piece of that, another piece of that nichrome wire for the speed control, oh, which would, I don't know, take weeks to get here. Although, I also have one of these. This is just a big resistor. I don't know what the resistance on it is. I could just go test it on the car though. Yeah, so this, this is definitely an option. So the way I would use this, if I use this for a speed control, is full speed, I'd have the switch just connect the motor directly to the batteries. But then the slow speed, the battery, the batteries would be connected to the motor through here. So the electricity would have to go all the way through this coil. So that would slow it down. So that would be the slower speed. And if I have a, like a two part, two part switch forward and a two part switch in reverse, I can have slow speed, fast speed, slow speed, speed, fast speed, forward and reverse. So that coil might work. Either way, I can make the switch now and uh, just put a spot in where I, I, I screw uh, whatever resistive coil, either that one or if I have to get something else in there um, and I can switch it out to whatever, whatever it needs to be. One thing I'm, I'm really optimistic about is that car seemed pretty strong. Like when I started it, it was like, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't go fast, but it really jerked forward. Like it had a lot of strength. Like it just went right into its full speed, which obviously, yes, it wasn't fast, but like it's got a lot of force. And I was hoping it would. I'm, I'm hoping it'll be able to go up some pretty decent hills because I want to be able to drive it from, from down here, like up the, up the path, up to the top of the hill. And I think there's a pretty good chance it's gonna be able to do that, even with me in it. So, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that will be good. That would be awesome. If, <laughs> that would be so cool if it's, if it's actually strong enough to get up and down the hill. You could drive everywhere on the island. Oh, that would be so great. As, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't wanna make it a really fast kid car. Partly because I don't want anyone to get run over, but also I, don't, I also don't want anyone to crash or anything. But I also wanted to just give it more strength than speed so it can get up and down hills and stuff. All right, I'm gonna go do something else now. I think it might be dinner time.